Hey planner friends, welcome back to Amanda's Favorite. Today we have a new planner. It's from personalplanner.com that I am genuinely really excited about. This planner actually, I honestly didn't expect to be that excited about, but once it came, I am so impressed. So let me tell you all about it. I had a subscriber um, suggest this planner company to me. They are in Sweden. However, you guys, they have free shipping. Their shipping is included in the cost of the planner. How awesome is that? They have several different sizes of planners. You get to build your own planner, okay? It is from personalplanner.com. Like I said, it's personal-planner. Dot com, but if you just Google personalplanner.com, it will come up. And they actually include shipping in their price. Their smallest planner starts at $29.95, and this is the biggest one. It goes to uh, $59.95, but that includes your shipping also. They have amazing paper. I could not find on their site telling about the weight of the paper, but honestly, it feels like to me, the weight of the paper feels literally pretty much as thick as an Erin Condren or an Inkwell, at least the Inkwell in the um, A5 journals, quarterlies, and in the journals, so this is at least 120 GSM. The paper is really nice. And something that I honestly forgot to do was a pen test. So let's just do one in here really quick. Um, this is one of my favorite pens to write with, my Pilot G205. So, um, and I pretty much like didn't expect to see anything and I pretty much don't see anything. So that's awesome. It is an amazing planner. Now this planner is not in my upcoming pen test video because I had already filmed that video like two days before this came. So sorry about that guys, but I might do a pen test in here and just stick it on Instagram with all the different pens that I did in my pen test video. I was actually planning on publishing my pen test video before this one because that one's done, but I wanted to get this one out too really fast because they gave me a 15% off code for you guys, which will be down in the description box, but it is only good till September 25th, 2017. And so I wanted to get this video out. So some of you guys who want it would have time to choose the discount code before it expires. I wish it lasted longer for you, but you can start this planner in any month you choose. It even goes starting at like all the way in the year 2019, if you wanted to start it then. So even if you already have a planner for 2018, but you're excited about this planner, you can start it in any month you want and it will be a 12 month planner. All their planners come with this thick, really thick plastic. It is frosted. So I feel like it does take away from the effect of whatever cover you choose a little bit, but it's really thick and it protects your planner on the front and the back. It comes with some stickers we'll get to and that's what's showing through there. But I love their O-rings actually. They're not fancy. Um, that's what I kind of like about this company. It's really good quality, really practical. The O-rings are not fancy and yet I love how they're smaller. They're not oversized for the planner. Okay. And they completely have absolutely no problems ever. No catches, no nothing. Okay. It also comes with a strap, which you can remove. So if you don't even want this on here, you just reroute your little strap through here and take it out, or you can leave it in. Um, so you can remove it or not. Uh, you get to choose the color of your strap even. You get to choose everything about this. Okay, I thought um, when the company, I wrote to the company when a subscriber asked me for a request and um, the company wrote me back right away and said I could pick out any size of planner I wanted. So I went for the biggest one. They also have really cool wall calendars and notebooks that have a lot of customization you can make. So you can check those out too. But let's get into this planner. 
let's get into it. You can tell I'm excited. Okay, you get to design your own cover. There are so many choices, you guys, but it is actually a really simple website to understand and design your planner on, okay? Um, plum Paper, to me, is way more confusing than this website, and you have more choices on this website. So they've actually streamlined it really well. I thought going in, oh great, this is gonna take me a long time to do my order, but it actually did not. It was super fun to plan it out, and um, I made my decisions and planned it really quickly. I didn't agonize over my cover. There are so many choices. I just picked one that I thought would be pretty and basic and simple, and then I put the year on it. You don't have to do that. They suggest this in here, but you can put any words in here you want. And then you can put all your information or just your name. So it's really your choice. Um, like I said, it comes from Sweden. Okay. It's designed by you. So it starts out right after that first intro page. It starts right into when you started it. I started this planner in January of 2018. Um, I have something about calendar year planners. So I know I could start it at any time, but I just love to have calendar year. So I started it in January of 2018. And so they give you the last little bit of December here, which was really nice because they didn't have to, um, but they did. They threw in the last week of December there. Okay, let me talk about the page layout a little bit. You get to choose all this. So you go in, and I'm actually going to insert um, in here uh, about how you can design your own planner. I'm going to insert that in here. So if you are not interested in that part, you can just go ahead and skip ahead. Um, or I might insert that later at the end, maybe. That would be better. Okay, let's go through the planner now, and then I will... I will insert somewhere how you design it. I, I'm going to insert that in here. Okay, so they have many different layouts you can choose on. Depends on the size of the planner you choose. So some sizes of planners have more layouts to choose from, and some sizes of planners have less layouts to choose from. It just depends on the size of the planner you pick. So you can play with it, you can check that out. It's easy to go back and forth. It's easy to save any planner you're working on, save the work, save that planner and even work on another one and come back to it later. Okay, I chose this quadrant system because I had never actually seen this or used this in any planner before. And what I liked about it was that you have your Monday through Thursday here, you have your Friday, Saturday, Sunday here, every day has equal space, and then you get a blank box for a list that week, for notes that week. I love that. So they have many vertical and horizontal um, planner layouts to choose from, but I chose this one because it was really interesting to me. Now, something I wish in hindsight, at first I thought I didn't want lines in it. You can choose lines in it, you can choose to only put lines in half of your boxes. You So there's so many choices. You can choose to have shadowed lines where every other line is shadowed with gray or with a light blue or with a light pink. They have several different colors to choose from. And now if I went back, I think I would definitely pick the shadowed lines because I, I think I would like that. But I mean, I also like blank spaces to write in, so this is totally okay with me. I love how they put little pictures of Christmas trees and I believe the flags there, you guys, I'm sorry, I need to check. It's not even showing this. Okay, well, the way my video setup was, I couldn't see if that was on camera. They put little flags there. I think if it's an American holiday, that's what the flag is about, I'm pretty sure. And you see that they have the holiday in red. Their holidays are marked in red and also their Sundays. So you will see on here, Sunday is marked in red. And the holidays are marked in red. I really kind of like that. Um, you can choose all kinds of different colors and patterns to go on your header, but it will be the same header on every page, whatever you pick. I just went with a light gray. I was just going for basic. One thing I absolutely love is I love how they number their days. So like this day says 365, right here, Tiny, because you are on the last day of the year. And you have a little firework. You are on New Year's Eve. 
So I just love all those details, actually. I just think it's fun to know what day of the year you're on. So they number the days of the year. They also tell you what week you're on of the year. And I love that too. These are details that I really love that I have not had in any other planner. So I'm telling you, I'm kind of super excited about this and I wish I would have started it in a sooner month so I could do some even end of the year planning right now in it and see how it flows. But I'll have to wait till 2018. Okay, these boxes that are added are things you can add or not, okay? But I added them because I wanted you to be able to see them. So, and in each different weekly layout, the boxes are added in different places, okay? So play around with that in the different weekly layouts. You can choose to add a weather box where you just check off what the weather is that day and you can write in the temperature now, me, myself, I would rather just have an empty weather box to write the high and the low, but it's really cute this way. That's just the way my mind thinks. You can have a work box, um, like to write your work schedule in. So I think that's really awesome if you have a job where your schedule changes weekly and you can write in like I'm working nine to three, nine to two, you just always know where to look on your day for the work box. And then you can add a workout box to every day also. That says today's workout has a little timed clock and a little space to write your workout. So you can also, in some of the layouts, make this double big. So the workout box would be bumped up and take about that much room. You can double, double it up. And I think in this layout, if I remember correctly, you could do that, but I just chose not to. So there's so much you can choose or you don't have to have any of those extra boxes down there, okay? Then some of the other things you choose are, I think they call these modules. I could be remembering wrong, but it will be in my like um, ordering tutorial that I'm gonna stick in here. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four modules you get to choose and change out. This note section always stays notes. It will be the same and you always have the previous month and then you always have, or the month you're on, I'm sorry, cause this is the month we would be on. This is the last week of December, 2017. And then you have the next month. And I just love how the weeks are numbered on there. Week one for January, you know, week 52 of the month. I love how they have the week highlighted that you're on actually right in that week. I just, I like those details. It's just something that I particularly like. So for these modules, I picked four different ones. They have like, I think eight or 10 different ones you can pick from. You can put all the same ones down here. You can put four different ones or you can put nothing and it will just be a blank space with no lines. You can, you can leave it a blank space down there. So it's really whatever you need for your needs. So down here, I picked a lined module. So you could do lined modules all the way across. I picked a graph module. I picked an idea of the week module and I picked a checklist module. So let's show you that up close. The idea of the week is just something fun um, thrown in there. Goals, art, um, and then just a checklist box for the week. So those are all the things you can add in to any of the different layouts. Let's look at the monthly layouts. Now every month is assigned a color. You do not get to pick this. You don't get to pick the color. Um, but this is really helpful since this planner does not have tabs. Let me show you. The months on the side are all tabbed with the color of the month and they go all the way up. So it really helps you when flipping through to find your month more easily. So that's awesome. January is hot pink here. And so you have your days written in hot pink and you have your week, like week 52, week one, week two written there and hot pink. Anytime there's a holiday and it, because you, you picked the U.S. version, you're going to have a little U.S. flag. Okay, so they have all the holidays written on there and they even have extra holidays like Popcorn Day, Holocaust Remembrance Day, um, National Freedom Day. So they have a lot of extra uh, little holidays written in there. So then you have your monthly view. This paper is so thick, you guys, and nice. And in this big um, 
size because I picked the biggest size, which I think is the A6 size. No, A4. Sorry. A4 size is her biggest size. And um, the boxes are so big. It like gives you plenty of room for planning. You go right into your week. And like I said, holidays are in red. That's New Year's Day. And then you have your Sundays are all in red also. So that's the way the whole planner goes. Okay, your colors aren't going to change anywhere on the week. It's whatever you pick for your header. Just there's going to be a different color of the month for every month. Okay. And like I said, you can start it in any month you want, but it's just a 12 month calendar. So then if we come here to the end of 2018, here we are on week 51, 52. And then they even give you the fir whole first week in January. They don't cut you off. Now, these are the things you can pick to go at the back. There's several choices for your, you have up to, I think it's 48 pages front and back. So that would be 24 pages total, but 48 front and back. And they ask you what you want. You can play around with it. You can get this extra calendar. I forget what it's called. It's an overview. It's an overview. So I got an overview of the next year, 2019. I could have also gotten an overview of this year plus the next year. But I just picked the next year because when you're looking to plan appointments and such and you don't have your next year's calendar yet, this is what I would want in here because I could write in dentist appointment, doctor's appointments, big events, and you would know when they're coming up. So that takes up four pages because you have like six months there and six months here. So I absolutely love that. And the print, just it is so nice and dark. It is just, it's so streamlined and just, um, I don't know, crisp, clean, practical. Those are the words that come to mind. So they not only put the numbers of the month going down there, every Sunday is highlighted red, every holiday is highlighted red, and then you have the days of the week even written on there to help you, and the holidays even written in to help you there when you're future planning. So that is really nice. Then there are so many different choices you can make for these back pages, like even sheets of music running to write your own music on the go. So that's all going to be in my video that I have inserted in here. But I picked just that calendar. I picked this overview of the next year, the 2019 overview calendar. I picked lined pages, and then I just picked some graph pages. That's all I picked. Then they give you this cool little thing you can either insert or not insert, okay? So you can choose to take this in or out, and I stuck it in. Um, I stuck it at the very back after the cover, but before the plastic cover. You can stick it wherever you want. It just pops in and out, um, which is really nice. It's a really thick plastic pocket folder. And I actually love this because I would stick like a school calendar in here, my kid's district calendar. And then they give you some free stickers. Um, actually, like you open it up and so it's like a double the sheet's worth. So you have some little words here, like be nice, you know, motivating, it's okay, I am strong. You have some cute little flags. You have some to-dos, you have some little word bubbles, you have some, what do you call those, just flags, you have some symbols, you have some emojis, and you have just some fun pictures. I guess you could call them picture emojis. So you get all those stickers. I didn't even know the planner came with stickers, which is pretty cute and fun, and it flows with their monthly colors of their planner. And you get this pocket, and then you also get a ruler. This ruler snaps in really easily. I mean, it's not super thick, but it's not um, too flimsy. It stays in well. You can stick it up as high as you want to find your page. And so it works really well for that. I can really easily turn to the page I want. Okay, guys, so that is my whole video on this. Like I said, this is the A6 size, and it is $59.95. That includes shipping. I have a 15% off discount code for you below. 
I don't get anything from that. Um, I'm just happy the company, whenever the companies will give me any discount code for you guys, I want to pass that along, but it does expire September 25th, 2017. I am super impressed with this. Even if you don't think you're going to buy this planner, if you're a planner person, you should go to their site and I will link that in the description too. And you should just design a planner. It's fun and it's really cool to see what you can do. So I am going to insert right here how to do that, how to design your planner. All right, guys, I wanted to insert this in because I wanted to show you about their personalplanner.com site. This company is just really cool because number one, they are from Sweden. They are in Sweden. They tell you the story about how it all began in 2006. They um, are personally owned here and they tell you their story by this husband and wife. Um, and they deliver to your house. Mine did not take three to four weeks. So that's probably just, you know, giving enough time because they deliver worldwide and shipping is included in the price of a planner. It's pretty amazing. Um, they want to hear from their customers, hear how you contact, there's how you contact them. And they have a couple of different options up here. So I want to show you. Shipping is included in the price of the planner, like I said. They start their planners at $29.95 and go up in size to the biggest at $59.95. They also have a wall planner calendar, which is very unique to anything I've ever seen. And they have some notebooks. So you can choose up here planner, wall planner, or notebooks. Their wall planner, they even give you a little preview up here, basically... It's only a week at a glance on your wall at a time, and you can have up to eight columns, or you can have less. You can put people's pictures up there, and each person's column is a different color. So if you wanted to keep track of everybody's schedule for each day of the week, this is kind of really genius for people with especially many kids and many different activities going on. So you might want to take a look at that if that interests you. But we are going to go in and look at the planners. So we are going to push. You go in and you push start here. At first, I thought I was going to be maybe overwhelmed with making this planner. Um, sorry, I was in the middle of just playing around with it and designing a planner. So I just pushed. I wanted to start a new one. So that's why it popped up that way. What will normally pop up for you is this. Like I was saying, I thought I would be overwhelmed with this. But actually, once I got in here, this site was so easy to navigate, you guys. It's really made really well and simply. They explain everything well. I have to say that's not the case with every planner site where you have a lot of choices. I know Plum Paper is actually not easy for me to navigate and see all the choices well and just view everything well. And um, yeah, they're not easy. Plum Paper even has a video tutorial on their site with how to order. And my view is if you need a video tutorial on your site with how to order, then the process is too complicated. Anyways, this site actually did not overwhelm me at all. My order took like no time to do. But then since then, I've gone back and played around with different designs just because since I received my planner, I'm so impressed with it. So let's just go through this and maybe I can even save you a little time looking at stuff since I figured some stuff out. They start with their mini size and that's a rectangle. They have the size right under here for you. That's 4.1 um, by 5.6 inches and this includes tax and shipping. You guys, that's kind of amazing with the price. I guess that's what they do in Sweden. But in the U.S. you would never see a price that includes tax and shipping. For what you are getting with this planner, I honestly just, it blows me away, their prices, okay? Their paper is really thick. I have not found on here the GSM or the pound weight of their paper, but my guess would be from the feel of how thick it is, it's at least 120, you guys. It might be near um, inkwell thickness. So I'm going to do some more pen testing on it before my video. I'm filming this before I'm filming the actual showing you the planner part. Okay, they have a square one. I guess this might be a more popular shape in other countries. 
because you don't see that a lot in the U.S. They have a really wide um, horizontal one here. And then they have your A5 size, which is probably, I'm guessing, the most popular size in the U.S. But they told me I could get any size I wanted. So I went ahead and went for the biggest, the A4, which is 8.2 by 11.6 inches, just because, um, I mean, I wanted to see how the bigger size was since they would let me get up to any size I wanted. So if I was using it, I might actually try to go for the A5 size to see if I could fit everything in there just to try to make it um, a little bit smaller. But I mean, I do use my passion planner right now and it is this size. So of the A4 pretty much. All right. So any size you click in, just to let you know, there's going to be different layout formats. So just because we go in, let, let's go into the A5 first because it's probably the most popular. Just because you see some layouts in the A5 doesn't mean the exact same layouts are in the wide or in the other planners because, um, you know, the different size of the planner yields to them giving you different layout choices. So each size of planner does not have the exact same layout choices. Okay, first they're going to let you work on the front cover. Now, I'm not going to really go through and design a front cover, but you can choose to put a cover picture on. So that's up here, cover picture. You can choose to put patterns on your cover. You can choose to um, go with a design theme, which are kind of these new art type of um, pictures. I went with a pattern theme on mine. And um, so they have all these backgrounds you can choose from basically, and you just are going to go through and click on them and, you know, see how they look, see what you like. So I like, sorry, you guys, that's one thing you have to watch out when you're trying to scroll, scroll the patterns, use the arrow, which I naturally don't try to do. But so you can pick on the patterns there. Then you can pick your text size for your name, how you want your font to look. Um, so the size of it and how you want your font to look and the color of it, for instance. Hmm, I wonder why that's, there we go. So you see what I'm saying? Okay, so those are your choices for the cover. And there is just, there is a lot of backgrounds, you guys. There is a lot. Um, and you can put a cover picture on there and change your background right here with a plain background, or you can add a cover picture and upload your own pictures. Let's see. Um, let's see, 2018, I guess those are their, oh, okay. Actually, this is what I picked from. I didn't pick from the patterns. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot, you guys. I did it a couple weeks ago. So under the design theme up here, it's not only those like art drawings, that's under 2018. So if you go under previous years, then you can click on all these other different pictures. And this is the one I picked for mine. But now they do have a frosted type of plastic cover that goes over this to protect it. And that takes away from the look of the picture a little bit just when the planner's closed. But they have a lot of different choices. So you're going to choose your cover and then you're going to choose your front cover text. Like, you know, I would type in Amanda here. And you can or cannot include the year. So you can have the year or you can just take that off. That is up to you. You can even choose the placing. Do you want it up there? Do you want it down here? So once you choose the font, you can choose all that. You get to choose your start month. You can start right now in September of 2017 or they go all the way now into starting. You can even start it in January of 2019. Whoa. So seriously, they give you four out. I started mine in January of 2018 because I'm just like, I just love calendar year planners. But I kind of wish I would have started it sooner so I could have started to like play plan in it and stuff and show you guys how that would have looked. But mine starts in January of 2018. I love any planner company that you can start any month you want. Love it. You even get to pick your color of an elastic closure. It comes with elastic closure. You get to pick the color and they even show it to you up here on the screen of what that color would look like with your planner. Okay, so then you click the arrow to go on. Let's just say we chose that theme. 
Okay, so that was our cover. If you want to go back to your cover, you just click up here. So now we're on the inlay design. And if you want to go back to your size and change anything, you click up, click up here. If you want to save at any point, like you just, you're done working on it, but you want to save what you've done and you want to come back to it later, you just push save right there. And it will save it for you. And then you can open it back up. Okay, so here we get into the fun part to me. Okay, down here, um, we are obviously wanting to go with America, but you can pick which country you're in. So they're going to have our holidays on there and everything. For layouts, look down here. It's under writing space. This is your first layout choice. Number one is highlighted, okay, with the vertical columns. This is your second layout choice with the horizontal columns and Saturday and Sunday half the page. This is your third layout choice. It's another horizontal spread, but you have Monday through Thursday being a little bit smaller and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday being a little bit bigger. And then you have this um, quadrant option, which is the one I chose in my big one. And actually, I think there might have been more layout choices, one more, maybe I could be remembering wrong in the big planner, the A4 size that I got. So we're going to click in there in a minute and check that out. But I got this quadrant option because I had never seen anything like it and I wanted to try it out. I kind of liked how Monday through Thursday were up here and Friday, Saturday and Sunday are down here and then a big note section for me right here for the week. So I really liked that. Um, now you get to choose if you want lines, which I love this choice. You can choose just to have the top lines and leave the bottom blank. Or you can choose to add lines to the bottom also. Then you get to choose if you want stripes in your lines. Um, which you can go coloring pink, blue, yellow. See, I'm just clicking down here. Or um, gray, which I totally kind of wish that I would have gotten um, if I built another planner again here. I think I would get lines, but I would get these striped lines because I really like that. For dividing my writing so I love that option and I kind of love the blue option because it stands out but then maybe I don't want the blue all year long with every season I don't know but I like the blue option too okay then you get to choose even your ruler color they have it as clear right now it comes with a ruler so for this price it comes with a ruler and a um, elastic strap you get to choose your ruler color I love the clear because you can see through it. Then you can even choose if you put a timetable on your days. So that looks different if you switch your layout, of course. If you switch your layout, then you are putting a timetable and they are asking you if you want the timetable spread out like that or like this. I mean, look at all those options, you guys. There are just so many options. Make sure you click through them all and really look at them. Okay. But I don't want to make this video forever long <laughs> for you. You can switch out up here too. Des you, that's called your design theme on your spread up here. So you don't have to keep the red just because you throws, chose the red for the front. Okay. You can choose to go with that. But it's going to be on every page of your planner. Whatever you choose up there is going to be for every month for every page of your planner. But you can even choose your top design theme. I just went with gray up there. So... Yeah, there's a lot to choose from. Look at this. You can take forever building your planner if you want to. But I just kind of went pretty basic. And um, I didn't take forever. But there are a lot to choose from up there. So, hmm, I kind of like that. Let's, let's go with that right now. Okay, now these are other choices. You do not have to add these in. Um, and, of course, I'm going to go ahead and take off the timetables. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. You can add in a weather icon. And in each different layout, it's going to go in a different spot. Okay. So this weather icon just shows sunny, cloudy, rainy. You can just check it. And a little box to write in the temperature. Now, personally, I would just like a weather box to just write in my high and low every day. Um, but this is a cute little thing. So I did put that in my planner even though it's not something I would probably personally get, but I wanted to show you guys how it looked printed. So I did put that in my planner. You can choose a work box. So if you want to like write in your work hours for the day, 
right there and then you can put in a workout box and you can even make it doubly big in some of the layouts. So it says training and then it is giving you a big section to write what you did for a workout that day or you know you can make it smaller too if you don't want to take up that much room. So that's what it looks like in that layout. If you switch your layout, see it's so easy to switch and see what it looks like in different layouts. Then your weather box and your work box are changed, okay? And your workout box, if you made it smaller, would be like that in this layout. Then in this layout, you know, it changes it even a little bit more. And as you notice, you can't make your workout box bigger in this layout. So it just depends on your layout. You have a different options based on the layout you choose. And here was my layout that I chose, and I wish I would have gotten these lines in it. And you can make your training box bigger, too. Yep, I love that. Love that option. Okay, then you can even add in personal dates down here to your calendar if you want them typed in, like people's birthdays in your family or vacations. You can add those in. I did not do that, but you push yes, and you will go in and you will edit dates. Okay, but we're going to kind of move on because I want you to be able to see the next part of this. They call these things at the bottom, see this whole bottom section, they call modules. You can leave them completely blank, so do not be overwhelmed here. You can leave these blank or they have so many choices. Module 1 takes up this half of the page, module 2 is here, and module 3 is in this space. They have all the same choices for each module. So let's just let me just give you an example you can pop a to-do list in module one you could also pop the same to-do list in module two or you can pick something different for module two you could pick dinners for module two this week's dinners and it gives you five lines there to write on you could pick um, squared which is their graph grid in module two you can pick rule just lines you can leave it blank in that module even if you're doing something in this module you can put an idea idea of the week goals um, you can have preschool now honestly I'm not sure uh, what this means maybe it's something in Sweden um, I can't honestly see it close up enough so I'm really not sure I've never it just says preschool this week date and just different things about it you can put in a whole workout section for just writing in more about your training of that week, an exam section. So there is so much here. A list section with 10 things. Okay, unnamed section, just boom, a list with check off boxes. That doesn't have to be named. They have the same choices in every section. So basically you can put three different things here. Like I can choose to put, um, what haven't I put? A graph paper here. Oh, a graph. I forgot to show you guys this. This kind of cracks me up. It's graph of the week. And I guess you graph something from that week. It says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you graph something like either reading or working out or working. Um, that is just something ingenious I would have never thought of. Anyway, and you have a blank note section here. You can't put anything here. So you can fill these three with three different things, three of the same things, or leave them completely blank. I put in different things on mine so you could see different things printed. Honestly, I'm not sure what I would do if I wasn't trying to show you guys like all different things. I would probably either leave it blank or just put this to-do list lines in for me. But that's just for me. All right, now here's a section that could be a little confusing, but it's really not. And these are your back pages in your planner. Okay. They're telling you, you have 24 pages left of 48 total back pages because they include, but you could take this out, but I don't know who would. This is um, a month overview of every month. So it's like your monthly overview. And these are placed before each month, each of your weeks in the planner. Okay, like a normal weekly planner would be. And that takes 24 pages because it's 12 months. So I guess you can take that out because you can trash it if you don't want it. But that And that will free up more pages where you can add some of this other stuff. So they even leave you that option. If you don't want the monthly spreads, you can trash them and you'll have 24 more pages for a total of 48 to add some of this stuff in the back of your planner. Of course, I kept the month overviews in mind. 
Then you have a year overview. So what I did was I got I got a 2018 planner, so I got the following year overview. Um, you could get the year you're on plus the following year. And let me see. I forgot how I can show you what that looks like. Here we go. It is, oh, it's really cool. It's the whole next year at a glance. The months are done vertically. The days of the month um, every Sunday is red. So that's what that sticks out. But um, every Sunday is a red line. And holidays have a red date in there too. But you can future plan your appointments at the back of your planner for the next year when you don't have your next planner yet. So that's why I put the next year in mind. I really don't need that for this year, but some people might want it, and it tells you it uses four pages, see? And so you can even add in the year you're on. So you can add in however many of those yearly overview pages you want. You can add in coloring book pages. You can add in Sudoku. Um, actually, Sud I might be saying that word wrong. I've never actually done that math game, so please forgive me. Um, you can add in maps. You can add in an address list here. Like here, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Um, you can even add it in right here, apparently, and type it in. Wow, I didn't even know that. Um, it, or you can just you know have the printed pages and write it in there. So it's kind of a chart like that. So if you want to just trash it and take it out after you put it in, you take it out like that. You can add in graph paper, which I added in some graph paper to show you guys like this. I added in some ruled pages, and that used all my pages. But let's put these back because I want to show you some of the other ones. They have blank pages you can add in. Sheets of music. You guys, how cool is that? I mean, I've just never seen a planner where you can add this in in case it's someone who's really musical and wants to like work on music when the mood strikes them. I just, wow, I love that so much that they have all these options they have a dot grid also let's see what their dot grid looks like because I didn't get any of one of those yes just a normal dot grid and then they even have teacher pages oh my goodness up to um, 48 pages in their teacher pages I guess it's saying so you could add a whole bunch but they'll just give you with what you have left some teacher pages you can read through there but this set comes up to 48 pages. So, wow. Okay, so and it tells you I have 10 pages left of 48. So I can just add in some ruled pages and be done. Of course, if you don't want those extra pages to make your planner thicker, you don't have to have any of them. Okay, you can push the arrow to go on or you can navigate at the top up here to what you want to go back to. So here they let you put hey there I'm a personal planner um, you can take that off you can use their suggestion and you can put all your name address whatever you want to down here really cool and then you go and you go on to the ordering info page um, so that's really it that's it they're gonna go through everything with you here they're saying is that the correct starting month they're showing you your planner they want to make sure everything is entered in correctly to me honestly this, with all the choices, I thought it would be just confusing and kind of nightmarish, but it was the complete opposite. It's actually a really, really easy ordering experience. Even more so, I hate to say this, but even with the few choices that Erin Condren has, like, I feel like her site is not this easy when you're making, like, your choices on your planner. Because this one, you can go back to just any choice at any time like let's say I just decide at this point I want to go back and I want to work on this again I'm not sure about this I just click and go back I want to save it right now I just go to save and that's it the planner has been saved to your account you can continue with your planner later on we can continue now or we can go back to the start page and even start a new planner and this one saved in case we decide we want to work on something else so that is just that's amazing to me so, all right, guys, I hope this whole video was helpful for you. Um, I love learning about new planners. You know that. And this might be my top new planner of 2017. We'll see because the year is not over. And when I say that, I mean planners that I never heard of that I didn't know about before and had never used or seen. 
Um, for the whole year, this planner impresses me the most because of all the choices and customization you can do, because of the quality of the paper, because of the price. I am just really impressed with this. It's definitely a planner I could use. I could totally use it next year if I didn't already have planners that I was planning on using, but I will in fact plan out weeks in this and try it out next year for sure. And I will report back to you guys how it works compared to what else I'm using. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.